public health activity Japan team gathered at a field on Naval Air Facility Atsugi along with several soldiers from the 901st Military Police Detachment, U.S. Navy sailors, and some four-legged training partners. These are military working dogs, and the soldiers and sailors are working dog handlers, animal care specialists, and veterinarians. This has never really been done before or thought of, so there's a lot of thought and, uh, and consideration with the dog and how to decon it safely and efficiently. The groups are there to conduct first ever joint training for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear or seaburn decontamination. The Army's 340th Chemical Company organized the training in order to increase unit readiness. And this is my first time ever working with a chemical company, so it's amazing to get to actually have the subject matter experts come out and be able to teach us, show us, you know, points that maybe we've been doing wrong throughout the years where we just teach ourselves. It is a bit challenging working with a dog, but we tried it out. We had a plan. Nothing took too long. There was no wait or anything. Everything went very well. The Hondras dressed in protective gear and went through the decontamination lanes with the dogs. It's really hot, and then you also have like no dexterity with your fingers, so it's hard to like do fine motor tasks, like being able to um, undo this clip for his muzzle. Super easy right now, but with those gloves on, it was really hard. I'm glad they invited us out. It's definitely been a really interesting day, really fun. Staff Sergeant Michael Coffey and his military working dog, Sergeant First Class Yonder, both assigned to the 901st MP detachment, took part in the training with their team. The mop suits are very similar to our bite suits, so it's something that he could associate as something that he wants to bite, something he wants to play with. It was definitely a challenge to make sure that he stayed focused on what I was telling him to do. Later on in this day, the teams also experienced something new at the airfield. This is not the first time that our community uh, has, uh, has worked with dogs like this, uh, and so this is a good familiarization for them to get them ready for any kind of operational missions that might come up. The U.S. Navy's ACSC-12 Golden Falcons Detachment 1 crews assisted the joint training with the medical evacuation operation. For two-year-old Yonder, it was not only his first time being part of Seaburn training, but also flying with his handler. Even as a staff sergeant, even being in for seven years, it's something new to me. Now me and my other handlers can take back to the kennels, kind of teach them so it, it really increases our readiness as a kennels for any deployments that we may have. And it was also really great to be able to integrate with these other units, train with them, and kind of meet new people, make new contacts. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, I'm Aya Fatsu.